Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load JSON file to SQL Server table by using T-SQL. So this is very simple and easy process. And what we are going to do, we are going to first of all take a look on our JSON file. So go ahead and double click. I have this sample file. I created actually this file online. So I, when I double click on here, it's opening in my Visual Studio. That's all right. You can open in. A, uh, Notepad++ or anything, uh, any editor, and this is how this JSON file look like. So you have ID here, and then you have first name, and then uh, you have last name, email, and gender, IP address, and all that. So this is uh, just a sample file I created uh, online. Now you have, uh, um, I have uh, 1000 records here, and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, load this file to the SQL table. So let's take a look. Let me close uh, this uh, file and uh, we are going to go back to our T-SQL here and I already have the script that we, what we are going to use. Um, so first of all, what we are doing here, we are declaring JSON at the rate JSON. You can name anything this variable and then uh, work our max. Uh, so that's uh, uh, the uh, variable, that's the uh, type here. So we have defined that uh, work our max. Uh, next, uh, what we are saying is select at the rate JSON. So we are putting this value by using uh, this uh, command here. So we are going to import the whole thing in this variable. So at the rate JSON. Now you see that this is going to use open row set function here. Once this value is the uh, one this whole file is there and here we have to provide the file name, uh, file path. In my case uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the folder just so let's change that. So let's go to the input folder copy this folder path and then we can right there so that's the path now now the next uh, statement is a select as trigger that means select everything from open json that's the table value function and uh, that's accept in our variable at the rate json that we have uh, right here okay so uh, remember that all this file is uh, 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 stored in this variable once we run this uh, command now it, this uh, function a table value function what is it going to do it's going to convert uh, our json file to the rows and column values so you can see that this is a, i'm saying asterisk and uh, then uh, and uh, uh, i'm saying with here and here is my list of the column so if you guys remember that when i opened the file it was uh, id first name last name and the email gender ip address and all that if you don't like to get some uh, data let's uh, let's first uh, let's run this query and uh, let me show you first uh, what uh, it is going to return now so you can see that uh, these all the columns are returned and uh, these are the rows and if you see right here this these are thousand uh, rows now if i don't want this uh, uh, column i can just remove that and uh, that should be okay so let's uh, do this guy right here okay so now if you execute this uh, statement, uh, it's returning us only the column uh, what we would like to get from here. So in this case, uh, the whole file is imported uh, in this uh, variable, but after that, uh, we are selecting uh, the column whatever we need uh, from uh, by using uh, open JSON. So if I don't want to use ID and uh, all that columns here, so I can also remove that and I can read uh, only specific uh, columns. Uh, so you see that last name, email and gender. Now the question comes here, let me, press the control Z and that's gonna bring me all my columns here now what we gonna do if we want to insert this data into some table so how you do that what you are gonna do here uh, first of all you need a table or uh, if we don't wanna uh, just maybe first time we would like to do something like that we can say select asterisk into dbo dot JSON test table okay so in this uh, way what we are doing all these uh, columns will be created automatically uh, for this uh, table so all the data will be inserted and let's go ahead and execute um, right now i'm in the tech browser it database uh, so let's execute this uh, and you can see that uh, 1000 rows are affected uh, now you can see right there 1000 rows uh, got affected and now i'm going to copy this uh, table and uh, let's select the data and uh, we'll see select asterisk from table JSON test table and uh, all these uh, columns are there so if uh, uh, let's say let's go ahead and take a look on the table itself uh, I'm gonna refresh and here our table is ready JSON table test that uh, has columns and you can see that integer worker and all that whatever the column uh, here whatever the data type we have selected that's exactly the data type of uh, these columns is uh, now if I would like to 
Now, if I want to, I already have some table and I would like to reuse it. I can do that too. Truncate table. So I'm going to truncate this table. And uh, what I'm going to do next, uh, I'm going to copy this table. And instead of saying uh, select asterisk into, I am going to just remove this part because the, the table is already created. And what we have to do, we have to provide here and uh, say insert into table name so in this case our table name is the db.js on tables test table now what i have to do i have to rerun this entire statement i'm gonna just remove this so i don't need the truncate here so let's execute our query and you can see right there our thousand records are inserted so if i want to select the data take a look if thousand records are inserted so i can always go back and say select asterisk from table and uh, this is it so you can see all the records are there. So again, if you want to just insert uh, maybe a few columns, uh, such as maybe you want to insert uh, ID and uh, first name, last name, you know, first underscore name, because that's the column we have, and last name. And you don't want to insert uh, other uh, values, so you can always select. Um, so in this case, uh, what you have to do, you have to do ID and the first name, uh, first underscore name, last underscore name so you can do something like that as well so here i don't really see that there is a point of reading all those columns if you don't need them but if you want to just leave them there so you know you can select the columns here as well but if i will be you i will just remove the column that i don't need to uh, read and uh, just uh, use the open json uh, table value function to just parse for the required columns so now if i go ahead and select the data so you see that I have 2,000 records, and if I go further down there, these are the null values because for 1,000 records, I only inserted the data for three columns. So in this video, what we did, we are uh, we are using only T-SQL, but that's not going to solve overall problems. And if you guys know that, I create a lot of SSIS video. And uh, our goal will be how you will load multiple files if you have in some folder and uh, how you are going to use SSIS uh, to load these files uh, because uh, often you will get these files in some folder and then you have to loop through them and then uh, load them. So I'm going to go ahead and create another video where uh, you will see how I will use uh, the same type of script uh, in SSIS uh, and change uh, this name dynamically and load uh, to the SQL server table uh, in the execute SQL task. Uh, I, another video I'm going to go ahead and create with the data flow task in which uh, we'll read the data from the file json file and then we'll add some maybe extra columns by using drive column or uh, you know uh, maybe you want to change the data convert use a uh, convert the data uh, types of this column or something like that and uh, then or drive extra columns uh, uh, from here and then finally load to the table so you will learn uh, uh, that in the data flow task as well so thank you very much for watching and uh, please go ahead and subscribe my channel i will see you guys uh, in next video